Hello Scorpio, it's Milady from Milady's Ways here and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading from October 16th through the 22nd, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. So it seems like some of you guys are not willing to make a sacrifice or somebody wants you to make a sacrifice and you're not sure if you want to make it. Yeah, or you want somebody else to make a sacrifice. But somebody's not willing to make a sacrifice. I want to thank everybody for like, share, and subscribing and setting up personal readings with me. If you'd like a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Um, after the reading, I like to uh, read my uh, Miss Cleo card straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. All right? So... Let's go. What's going on with the Capricorn? Capricorn, Capricorn. Capricorn, love reading October 16th through the 22nd, 2017. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Scorpio. Alright, so there's a lot of talk going on. Somebody is telling you something over and over and over. Or you could be telling somebody else. Okay, yeah. So somebody is ready for their weights to be lifted. And then I feel like one of the burdens in the weights is like having to tell somebody something over and over. Okay, so it seems like you may be telling somebody... Um, Something about them leaving, coming and going. All right, what is this? What is this time tied about? What is this time? What is this back and forth about for the Scorpio? Okay, so it seems like the back and forth is about somebody not opening a heart. It seems like sometimes you care, sometimes you don't care. This could be your partner doing this to you, okay? All right, so, um, okay, so I'm going to do it like I do my personal readings, but it seems like you want this person to open their heart and they won't do it as much as you would like and it's keeping you up at night. You having trouble sleeping, okay? All right. Oh, so this could be like a parent to your child or um, you really care for this relationship or this person really cares about you. But it seems like, I don't know, I'm starting to feel like somebody's mentally on and off. So this could be about you being mentally here, mentally gone, other than somebody leaving and coming back. That's what I'm feeling like here because... This is like somebody is really caring about you. Yeah. Okay, so it seems like, I don't know why, but I'm getting a feeling like somebody is kind of out of it and i feel like you guys are looking for different medicines to help this person out and i feel like you haven't found this medicine yet you know but the situations that's going on with you i feel like this could be a partner too it's keeping you up at night because like some of these medicines are are making it hard for you to open your heart Yeah, I feel like you're getting more of a numb feeling out of everything, okay? Or or this is how your partner feels. Wow, these, I don't know why these cards look so different to me right now, but this looks like, I feel like somebody is not seeing the world as it is. Everything is blurry. I feel like somebody just feels extremely high all the time, every day, all day, and they just like, can't look at things for what they are. I feel like somebody want to love, but they can't. Okay. All right. So, I mean, it seems like somebody is about to be honest about a situation 
or there's some manipulation going on. So this makes me feel like somebody is using some drugs to help their mental state, but I'm feeling like they may be abusing it, okay? All right, so I read these straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. All right, what's going on with this Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio? Scorpio love reading, Scorpio love reading, October 16th through the 22nd, 2017. October 16th through the 22nd, 2017. Love reading, what's going on, what's going on, what's going on? Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio. Apparently, that's for you and they want me to stop shuffling. So, it seems like somebody may be like cutting some marriage off or you could be dealing with a Taurus that or um, or maybe uh, somebody might be trying to take you to court. Okay? Alright, let's keep going. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Alright, so somebody may have had to stop going to work. Mm. Okay, so somebody is being insensitive about somebody not being able to work. Wow. Okay, so it seems like just looking at this, Wow, so it seems like happy times are coming or a time of peace, but it seems like somebody is not working as hard as they should be to do something, probably to, I mean, get over a situation, maybe get over an addiction, because that's what I feel like it was talking about in the last time. But it's like somebody is being insensitive with the person's... um mental disorder because this person is running around spending money like you know there is no tomorrow you know but it seems like you guys may be getting ready to come out of a time where you need um to hold on to money so maybe that's some kind of court that court judgment that was going on but Okay, yeah, so it could be some kind of divorce going on also. And I think that's why the money, somebody just spending, blowing somebody's money right now. So it seems like it may be happy times for, um, I don't want to say um, the person who's addicted to the pain pills, okay? All right, so let me read this right out the book. So we have the Eight of Coins. So the Eight of Coins is reversed. It says a card of decrease, less money, less hours possible layoff. Okay, and then we have the Queen of Cups reversed. And this is a distinguished female concerned with public opinion, slightly arrogant. Look behind the smile before extending your hand. So it's like... Oh, somebody might have been like, yeah, doing sneaky manipulative stuff to get what they wanted, you know, to get in and out of stuff. All right, so we got the four coins. And this is interrupted movement, tardiness to obstacles. So I don't know why I heard didn't show up to court. So somebody didn't show up to court. Or to some situation just because they were basically, um, I think they was trying to manipulate the situation, you know? So then we got the sun card. Sun, sun, sun. All right, so it says a time of absolute joy and peace. Happiness joy peace and happiness you look at life as a gift full of future fortune uh, so many good things approach everything you touch now will lead to success ultimate success so it's like there's something going good and i feel like it's for the abuser you know and i i don't know 
But maybe you guys can tell me. But that's all I have. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, have a wonderful week.